Don't you just scream? Everything's under control, as much as it can be. Anyway, hello there. Sorry for interrupting your Zoom meeting, but I've got a few things I want to get off my chest and you look like the kind of person who might be interested. You know who I am? No. No problem. I'm different things to different people. Everyone thinks they knew me, but no one knew me. My name was John, but everybody called me Jack. If I hadn't gone to that party, if I hadn't, in another universe, perhaps I could have watched my kids grow. I might have watched the first man land on the moon, or seen the assassination of Martin Luther King. I could, I could. I could have watched the twins trial. All read about it in newspapers. It was everywhere. The trial of the century. 39 days. At that time, it was the longest running trial in history. They could have been guilty of murdering someone other than me. And there were a few of those. I could have gone about my business, nicking a few quid here and there. I might have given up the pills and moved to Chiselhurst. And my kids never would have seen my mugshot. An ugly one, published in every book written about the twins since. By it. I did go to that party. And now here I am. There I was going about the eternal business of being deceased and lo and behold, some prat starts channeling my ghost and, and here I am. I was am and forever will be Jack the fucking hat. Murder victim, thief, drug dealer, pill head, dad. They even named a cab firm after me. Wish I'm the fucking copyright. The last few seconds of my life were spent at that party. My farewell party as it happens. I staggered in drunk with Bacardi and Coke and was carried out a legend. And now, question you've all been waiting for, who was I really? A face? Definitely. And no, not that fucking idiot in those books and films, you know, the drugged up loudmouth loser who's always scared of going bold. I'm not bold, by the way, just receding. And I'm not gonna take off my hat to show you so you can forget it, tit, tit, tit. You can forget it. There's also a big one. Six foot two in my socks, unless you read the version where I was five foot nine. Still, it's half a foot difference between eyewitnesses, eh? I worked for a lot of the firms in London. You could say I was a freelancer. I knew everyone. You wanted your money back. I was the boy. I would pull their teeth out with pliers if I needed to. Cut their faces wide open soon as look at them. I'm serious. Watch and learn. My first approach. I understand you owe some friends of mine a lot of money. And they would appreciate if you paid it back pronto because it's been a couple of weeks and they are understandably concerned. And if that don't work, then here's my second approach. If I say you owe me fucking money, then you give it to me now. Don't make me come back here, hand it all over, all of it. I'll break your fucking arms and legs. <laughs> I mean, the tw twins even asked me to kill Leslie Payne for them. And why would they do that if I was so useless? Useless. You know, they heard he was going to turn, so I said, sure. But when I got there, his wife said he wasn't in. So I thought, sod it. And I went home. Now, some people, they think I lost my bottle and I couldn't pull the trigger. But that is... 
bollocks. And I kept the money they paid me in advance. Fuck them. Those wankers never scared me. No firm ruled the whole of London at that time. Listen, it was, it is far too fucking big for that. It's always been a complicated series of networks and alliances between people with common business interests. And that includes the law who the biggest fucking thieves out there. And these corporations where it can't exist. I ain't making excuses. But poverty makes you do things. Bad things. And not just material poverty like the kind we had after the war, but of the imagination, I suppose. I couldn't see anywhere to get to that wasn't crime. And I was decent at it. I always had a few bob on me, so I'd pop a pill, have another, take another beer, have another pill. I like the life, who wouldn't? There's a big market for these out there. I'd hit in the mods at the clubs and the discotheques, made a nice few bob. Blues, bombers, they lapped them up. See, the bands, they all followed rule on drugs, so we could have really made a killing, but no. The twins were dealing in purple hearts, but wouldn't cut me in. Oh, and I never, never pushed that tar up my car and broke her back, by the way. Nah, that is a fucking lie. lie. I never touched a woman in my life. Not properly, even if they deserved it. Yeah, she was fat. She loved ramming the sweets down, huh? <laughs> and I might have got irritated. Even downright fucking angry. But I wouldn't do that to her. Even though she was taking a piss out my airline. That's one of those stories they put around to make me look like a lowlife. A scuffler. A two-bit, two-bop shit kicker. And the twins. <laughs> fucking heroes for doing me in. I was the life and soul, me. Oh yeah. I mean, you ask anyone. Some people thought I went too far, but I liked a good laugh. What's wrong with that? I mean, if I hadn't been so, if I hadn't been, but I was, I mean, if I hadn't been so keen to, to make my mark and my money, of course, it was always about the money. It's rough when you see people who have it waving it about in your face and you're living off poxy bread and dripping. But I like to slice the bread and dripping. I might have seen more, noticed more around me. I can see that from here. I can see that now, from here. Who knew who killed me? Of course you did. I went to that party pissed and peeled out my tiny mind and was never seen again. Until now, dead but famous, stabbed, my liver falling out of my body, mutilated. I can see everything happening. I was out of my body shock, I suppose. Could see blood splurting all over the cheap carpet, everyone is going berserk and then there's me writhing and twitching like a rag in the wind, my neck impaled to the floor. Children just upstairs, a family friendly ambush, courtesy of the craze, who only ever hurt their own. I was one of their own, does that mean I deserve to be murdered then? Charles Manson couldn't have done a better job. Honour amongst thieves, bollocks. All that was left of me was a patchwork of conflicting testimonies, lies and make-believe. And that's what I am. A black and white photo fit. A composite. A retrospective identity. But you know what? In the universe I'm from, I don't get killed. I pummeled the twins to pieces at that party. I put them both through the fucking window. 
drank the rest of my gin and strolled out. In my universe, this one as it happens, the one I've dragged you into now, I didn't go to that party. I was tipped off the twins were going to be waiting, so I went into hiding. And I wrote a book about it 20 years later. Which means someone else's kids see their dead dad's mugshot making money. But in this universe, it's for me. I'm the one that gets paid. And in my universe, I'll get a headstone. Total fucking pip. <laughs>